Haney's asking about the cost of living um, of houses, price of cars and foods. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So here is specific in Louisville, of course, it will depend on the area that you are wanting to rent an apartment or a house. So let's say, for example, you choose the east side of the the city, which is more um, safety, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have apartments, we have houses here. Um, I rent apartments, so I will say more about apartment than houses. I don't have the experience with houses yet. Um, to rent, for example, apartments of one bedroom, you can rent um, on the east side of the city around 800 to 1,000. And then if you go to two bedrooms, it will be starting at two, uh, 1,000 to 1,300. And then if you want three bedrooms, it will go like easily to 1,400, 1,500. So it will depend what you're looking for and uh, how much space you want. But if you are coming here brand new, if you're just starting a new job here, I would advise you to start in something little and then you grow from there because you don't you don't have an really idea nice. how it's going to be. Yeah, you don't you're not you don't know how it's going to be your paycheck. So I would advise you to go, go small and then and then you rent something bigger when you're set up in the city, you know the places you like or not, and then you look something like better for your family. But you can start in a good place on the east side of the the city with a good price too. Okay, so that, those are very wise words, everybody, <laughs> that Marilla just shared. Keep your expenses low as much as much as you can. We have seen. I mean, we've been bringing nurses. Kinetics USA have been bringing nurses to the United States for almost fifteen years, and we have seen many nurses get very stressed out when they come into America. You're so excited to get here. You go out, you buy two cars, you spend too much money on your rent and everything looks shiny and new and bright. And um, you really can put a lot of extra stress on yourself from a financial perspective. 